This week's Parsha describes the process of the person who has the spiritual disease of Tsaras becoming pure. Remember, this is a person who spoke Lashon Hara, he spoke badly about other people, his body was afflicted, he was sent outside of the camp, and now it's time for him to become pure. The Parsha begins and describes that this person is brought to the Kohen. The Kohen is in charge of his purification process. Vuhuva el Kohen. He's brought to the Kohen. But then right afterwards it says, Vyatsaha Kohen. The Kohen goes out to him. So which one is it? Does the person who is ill come to the Kohen, or does the Kohen come to him? The Kliakar explains that, yes, the Kohen will go outside of the camp to him. But the first step of becoming pure has to come from within the person himself. He needs to take the first step. The Kohen cannot go after him and seek him out and say, come back and become pure. For a person to do repentance, for a person to purify himself, it has to first start with him. And that's why that's the first step. We always talk about that with repentance. God himself will come and help us, but we have to take the first step and show our desire to be repentant, our desire to become pure. That's the first element of Vuhuva versus Vyatsa. But the word Vuhuva doesn't mean that he himself comes, but it means that other people bring him. And here the commentaries say there's another element which we learn from here, and that is the role that all of us play in inspiring our fellow Jews and inspiring our fellow man to be better. We don't just leave people to themselves. If we see someone who's suffering spiritually, we have to care for them and try to inspire them and try to get them to the point where we're bringing them to the Kohen. So yes, the first step is the person themselves wanting to be inspired, wanting to do tshuva, wanting to repent, wanting to be pure. But we all play a role in that as well, and we can help bring him to that point. Let's read this story of the person with Sarat coming back to the camp of the Jewish people and recognize these two points. Number one, that we as individuals have to always take the first step. And then, whether it's the Kohen or whether it's God, there are others who will come in and help the purification take place, but also to always be on guard and looking for those around us who can use inspiration and recognize we can play a role. It's a critical role in helping inspire them to come back. The role that we as individuals and we as a nation play in the collective tshuva and the repentance and the purification that all of us must seek and all of us must desire. Wishing everyone a Shabbat Shalom.